good morning. I still feel like poo poo because of my allergies. Also, I sound like a bear. Like a, uh, that's a not a bear. I said, that's a not a bear. Okay. Anyway, I thought I might vlog today. I don't know. I, I just, I've been feeling like filming. I hope you guys don't care that I sound like this. And also that the lighting is bad and the sound is bad. You don't care, right? Okay, cool. Um, we're getting ready today. We have clients. It's Wednesday. We have clients coming. Um, my color canceled, but I do have some haircuts. And I don't know, I just thought I might hang out with you guys. It's been a minute, you know? So, yeah. But we're, we're finishing putting the face on and then um, we're gonna do a little unboxing of some hair products. I just ordered some stuff for the salon, so I gotta, I gotta unbox it. Anyway, y'all yeah, don't care. But yeah, we're gonna finish getting ready, and then we're gonna head downstairs to the salon and unbox that. And then we might, I don't know, we might get into something else later. Probably not, but maybe. So the other day, I was watching one of my favorite new YouTubers. This is, this is attractive, isn't it? I was watching one of my favorite new YouTubers. Caroline Winkler. Um, she's super funny and she does like some design stuff, but she just has really interesting vlogs and stuff. Anyway, she said something that I related to like wholeheartedly. She's like, basically she can be influenced into anything. And that's kind of the theme of my life. I am very gullible and influenceable. It's not a good trait to have. I guess you could say I'm trusting. So there's that. There's not much that I buy that I wasn't influenced to buy. And if I'm like going to buy something new, I'm gonna watch a video about it so that someone can tell me which one I need. Anyway, this lotion, somebody influenced me to get this on TikTok. The Nivea, Essentially enriched 48 hour. Someone said that it'll give you like JLo skin. You know, that shiny, which I feel like, yeah, it does. I just don't like the smell. It doesn't, I don't know what it smells like, but if you're gonna put this like all over you, you want it to smell yummy, right? It just kind of smells What am I getting? One eternity later. I got nothing. One thing that I for sure was influenced to buy, but 100% do not regret, the tiniest, most expensive bottle of perfume. It's the Baccarat Rouge 540, and it smells like you have your life together. You just smell rich like a rich lady who shops at Neiman Marcus and like eats acai bowls and has a little dog and wears like camel colored trench coats. Do I have a camel colored trench coat? Because I'm trying to embody this rich lady. Maybe. I got the best thrift find the other day. I've been wanting some Air Force Ones for like over a year, maybe longer. And I already had some white shoes, so I was like, do I wanna spend $100 on more white tennis shoes? Anyway, I was in Goodwill and in the bin where they hadn't put the shoes out yet, there they were. They were just sitting right on top, filthy, absolutely disgusting. But I looked inside and it was my size, so I was like, maybe I could clean them. They cleaned up perfectly they look on my can you see that they look practically brand new 10 bucks win hello we're in my salon so i had to order some color i don't know i don't remember what i got we'll see here oh i got kendra thermal styling spray this has been my og thermal heat protectant also holds your style really well. This is the only one of these that I use. It's just the best one, in my opinion. I got 
some bleach. I like this one because it has the bonder inside. It's like, it's good for, not for hunts and light hair off. This is my favorite dry shampoo. It is Amico Perka. I wouldn't suggest buying this on like Amazon or um, anywhere that's not a salon. Same for this. Any, any salon products, only buy those by a reputable salon dealer. You can get them at places like Ulta because they have a salon. Um, but don't get it at Kroger. Don't get it at Walmart. Um, yeah, you just never know what you're buying. Oh, this was, this is like a free thing they just threw in there. I've never tried this particular one. Redken Triple Take 32. I don't know, have y'all tried it? Let's just see. It kind of sputters. It's sputtering. Is it supposed to do that? <coughs> I don't know. I thought it might be good to take on trips, you know, like a travel type spray. They let you pick your samples, so that's why I chose that one. Got a couple of uh, Shades EQ toners, 7NA. This doesn't mean anything to you, does it? This is um, when you highlight someone's hair or, or lighten it. Um, then you tone it back down to the tone you want because whenever you put bleach on someone's hair, it doesn't immediately lift to a color that's nice looking. And so you just put the toner back over it and make the color something you like. And several just cover fusion colors. So we're gonna put these away. I don't remember ordering this color. I have to look at my printout. And that, my friends, was 200 bucks. So, my hair is wavy now. I've never had that be an issue before. I'm dealing with frizz, which I've never dealt with before. And all of this. I used to be able to just blow dry my hair and it would be great. Not anymore. Not anymore, fam. One good thing is, is I can just throw in just a couple of little waves and not have to curl my whole head. Usually, sometimes that doesn't work, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and make this look intentional, hopefully. So the goal is just kind of effortless, beachy, but not unkempt. This is, this is where I ordered more because I'm almost, almost out. The thermal styling spray I was telling you guys about. So you just spray your little section. For anyone else, I would say comb through the section, but I want to try and keep some of these waves and not make them frizz up. So I'm not going to comb it a bunch unless it needs it. So I'm going to use this as like a wand. That's just how I like to do mine to make it sort of match. And I just hold the tip out. Basically we're just Finding the pieces that look bad. This one might need a comb. Looks kind of rough. effortless or beachy so my client will be here in like a little bit less than an hour so I'm gonna make some lunch I want to show you guys our new espresso machine this came in yesterday it's the Delonghi Delonghi De starts with a D our last one just finally kicked the bucket so maybe Clint will make us a latte later that could be good to show you guys what I do <laughs> So I bought those Sargento little snack things with the cheese and the almonds and the dried cranberries and they're so good but they're like they're kind of expensive. So what I did was I just kept the little package and got some press and seal and made my own. Toast with, with an egg, but these egg 
it don't do right. What do you mean? Just more spready. I'm used to hormone filled eggs. Yeah, this is my hormone. No. Too straight. Broke it. Well, that was disappointing. Just a little runny. Hi, Fran. <laughs> you wanna be in my vlog? What is she doing? You're famous now. Why? Wow. There you go. Very cute. I used to wash your stuff. Did you really? Yes. Okay, so you want to be in my vlog? Yeah, I'll be in your vlog. Okay. It's nice to have like a creative outlet for me. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like making videos for other people all the time. And I just need to mix it up. I yeah. Think, just to keep creative juices flowing. That's right. Like I feel like YouTube and TikTok... I could be more myself yeah. because not as many people I know is going to watch it and judge me. Right. How many is supposed to be in there? I'm going to put 14. Some cinnamon? Nope. You're welcome. Thanks. My nose is all red from allergies. Here's the fun part cleaning everything up. <laughs> Have fun. No. Thanks, babe. It is good though. What's up? I said it's good. Who needs Starbucks? It's better. It is better. Another product that I was influenced to buy. <laughs> this just came in today. Um, I was looking for like a sunless tanner and this one particular influencer said this is the one I needed. I'm a little bit hesitant to use it because there's no like, what is it called? There's no color when you first put it on. It's just clear. So I'm probably gonna get it wrong the first time. I'll probably put this on tonight and let you guys know how it turns out tomorrow maybe. Also my friend Sydney just texted me and said that the Sony A7S III is back in stock and I've been really contemplating switching camera lines. We currently use uh, the Panasonic GH5s but the Sony's are supposed to be like really good and they've been out of stock for I feel like two years maybe. Maybe not quite that long but a long time. Should I do it? <laughs> Probably should definitely not do it. Especially since Panasonic has a GH6 now and we could just upgrade to that. We wouldn't have to completely switch camera lines. I don't know. It's really tempting. It's supposed to like do everything. It's just a big investment because it's not just buying one of these. We would need four and all new lenses. So, something to think about. I did want to try like a TikTok recipe with you guys before we go. Um, I've been craving something sweet and I'm trying to do better. And this is like a, I don't know if it's like a mug cake, but it's chocolate. So we're gonna try and make a chocolate cake out of avocado and see how it goes. Quarter of an avocado. So we just half of this, I guess. Tablespoon of cocoa powder and unsweetened almond milk, which I do not have. Okay. Maple syrup and a yolk. Fry the batter, it's delicious. Tablespoon maple syrup. Ooh. I need a yolk. 
yolk. One yolk. A quarter cup of almond flour, a pinch of salt, and baking powder. A quarter cup of almond flour. Don't have that either. How much is a pinch? Is that a pinch? That's more than a pinch. Pinch? Pinch. Chocolate chocolate microwave for 90 seconds. Okay, so apparently I forgot to hit record, but <laughs> I've already mixed in ice cream with it. What I had said was, it's not bad. It's definitely not chocolate cake. It wouldn't fool my kids or my husband, but it's okay. It has a decent texture. It just, it tastes healthy. Maybe if it had real chocolate chips versus like the cacao, it'd be okay. But the one thing that is making this like really good or at least pretty tolerable <laughs> is this is the halo top sea salt caramel you need to get you some of this this is this is what's up if you eat this whole thing it's only 300 calories so do with that what you will i'm seeing bits of avocado that did not get fully mixed in it's not super appetizing I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. I've really enjoyed hanging out with you guys today. It's been great to like get my creative juices flowing again. Thank you for sticking around. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. You're my favorites. Peace and love.